click door back again. Hey, today I'm going to finish my series on our open AI connector by showing you how we can utilize it in a use case to augment what Click already does so very well with artificial intelligence. Let's go ahead and dig in. The real starting point for this use case, which is to augment what Click already does well, is our Insight Advisor chat. I can ask questions that are great. Give me the total order value by product. And guess what it'll do? Wow, it'll go out and get me answers from my data. You've seen this data set now in both of the previous videos. That's all fantastic, right? Yay, that's what we do well. Now the next user comes in, they don't know our data fields like we do who've been doing this over and over and over. They ask a question like, give me the total sale valuation by stock listing. And they get no answer and they get upset with our insight advisor because they've asked a question using other ways to refer to fields that we don't have already identified. The real use case that I'm trying to show as a good starting point isn't the fact that I can create an OpenAI connector. It's not the fact that I can call OpenAI and ask some great questions. If I was doing creative writing, yay! I love the fact that OpenAI can do creative writing. But as analysts, we need to know that we've got an exact answer, not a creative answer. So what I'm focusing here on is not trying to ask OpenAI to give me summaries of data. We know that Click can already do that and do that precisely and dependably every time. It's what I want to do is augment and take that metadata that OpenAI has in it and add that to Click to add value to what it is that we already do well. In other words, take our Insight Advisor chat side by side with what OpenAI can return to me or that I could get returned from Google Bard or whatever. You'll see here, as in the other videos I should say, you've seen me make a connection. In this case, I'm actually making two connections. You saw in video two where I prepared a table that has all of my values. And what I do here is I've actually run it twice. I've said, hey, give me output from 3.5 where I'm asking the same question. Give me 10 unique alternative ways to refer to a field called, whatever that field is, as a single comma separated string without any numbers. Each alternative should be separated by a comma and a space. I run that through 3.5 and I run that through 3.0. As you may, may recall, with the 3.5, I only need to pass the table. With the 3.0, I need to pass the table. I need to have the key field identified, and I need to tell it what field is the one with the prompt in it. And I name these things super easy for myself. So if I were to come out to a data model viewer for this, Let's take a look at 3.5 first. Remember my string. Don't give me numbers. Don't give me numbers. Don't give me numbers. But I want to use the latest version. I've got the 3.5. Hey, fantastic. Let's take a look over here. And, oh man, the list comes back with numbers and no commas. It's the latest and greatest, but it's ignoring my prompt. Now, I've mentioned prompt engineering before in posts. You could change the prompt to fit the 3.5 model. Don't just always assume that the latest and greatest model is going to give you the best answers. Now let's take a look at some of the values though. Date of purchase, transaction date, day of order, time of ordering, purchase timestamp, order placement date. If I go look at my 3.0, you'll notice that the number of tokens used was higher. 
and we can look at these ordering date ordering day purchase date transaction timestamp acquisition occasion obtaining momentum procurement point in time super creative names that people may use and guess what they're comma separated do I want to use the latest and greatest version or do I want to use the most reliable version I can continue using 3.0 and I know that I'm going to get the output in the format that I want using that prompt. That does not mean I can't come back, change this prompt to try to make 3.5 give me a comma separated list. I just want to show you that you're not always necessarily going to choose the latest or greatest model based on what your prompts may be or that you will need to change your prompt to get reliable data. So now instead of looking at the um, data model, let's look at the um, analysis sheet here where I've got the answers. Well, what I can do, for example, here is I would just right click, pick copy cell value, and I'm going to go on another sheet here. I'm going to go to vocabulary. So the vocabulary is the metadata that we drive Insight Advisor from. Well, guess what? I now have 10 terms that OpenAI has suggested to me that I could utilize that are associated with the order value field. And I create that. And I'm going to come back to here and I'm going to go to things like product. And I'm going to copy that cell value and come over here and I'm going to come down. I'm going to find my product field and I'm going to place these terms in. And notice that by doing the comma separators, it nicely already created multiples. If I had copied that in the list with the numbers, it wouldn't have done that for me. So defining that prompt, engineering that prompt to get the expected use out of it is really what was important to me. So let me go ahead and, and I'll just play with a few of these. I want to go ahead and do the same thing here for product name. Now I come back here. I add these values that I'm going to refer to product name. It's got some crazy ones. That's fantastic. We don't know. And I press create. Now in the real world, we could do this first. Maybe we want 20. Maybe we want 30. And then we come back with our data stewards and we say, hey, here's alternative names for product names. Um, which of these do you like? Uh, we would never call that commodity designation. Let's get rid of that. Um, we would never refer to that as Arctic article nomenclature. Let's get rid of that. But oh, by the way, we might refer to this as, and then they could start giving you some other names. But you've already seeded that conversation rather than just giving them a whiteboard to say, give me the other ways that users might refer to this field. So you got the idea. We would go through for each of our fields, simply copy the values out, paste them right into vocabulary because we've engineered the prompt to do so. Now when I'm out here, guess what? I can ask that exact same question. Give me the total sale valuation by stock listing and this time, voila, we've seeded or augmented the vocabulary that the Insight Advisor can tap into through our open AI returns. And now it's telling me total sales valuation. I'm going to refer to the order value. Stock listing, that's product. And I would now be able to refer to any of these things and get answers whether I'm in the Insight Advisor there or whether I'm inside of my application looking to pose things. So here if I say give me a total sales valuation by stock listing and I choose this 
I can do the same things. I'll get the same answers inside of here. If I start going to this, like give me this whole sales value, notice, do I want transaction value? And I could choose transaction value there. Or do I want sales value? Or do I want investment evaluation? Notice all of these names refer to order value, where I can also see down here, because I've typed VA, variety is a product. So the beautiful thing, I can augment what Click already does so, so very well in a way that you know is going to be precise and is going to give you the right mathematical answers every single time. Hey, as I wrap up this three-part video, I hope that you recognize now how fun it is to call OpenAI to create rap songs about your data values. No, 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 no. That's not what I showed at all. Hopefully, if you've been paying attention, you realize that what I'm trying to advocate to you, and you notice I don't have my bow tie on because I want you to take me seriously, is that you can augment what Click already has been doing for years so well by tapping into the strength of what OpenAI is. It's a giant body of text with metadata about relationships between other text. And so what we did in our video today was to tap into that metadata to augment what the Insight Advisor chat already offers you in your settings. Hope that you have a great day.